St George's Day folks uh, here in London and there's been a lot of trouble. Peace sources uh, with riot kit having to get involved uh, and push certain groups back. They drafted a lot uh, of extra police, City of London police, CSG etc. Uh, because it seems there were a few minority probably that were not willing to, what's the word looking for, behave themselves, should we say. Uh, it is what it is, depends on which way you look at it. But yeah, there's an awful lot of police around in the centre. They're all lined up, in fact, in front of Parliament Square, just in front of us. We're going to head down into the parade uh, and see what's going on, people. It's a police helicopter, spotter helicopter you can hear above me. I'm not sure about access to Whitehall, whether it's been completely cut, partially cut, no clue. We'll find out in a second. Last tax and I can cross over. Uh, and I will, if I can, uh, obviously speak to some officers on the ground and find out exactly what's been going on today. Pity it was supposed to be uh, a calm, civil day with uh, people enjoying themselves and, uh, and celebrating what should be uh, a proud day for British folk. English folk, kind of the same thing, but you know where I'm going with this. So we've got this massive cat, I'm not sure which cat this is, look. Sorry folks, the uh, camera's getting pushed all over the, all over the place today. It's uh, Garfield, look at this. Look, they're all lined up here, ready, uh, just in case. Loads and loads and loads of officers. Uh, I have no idea if it kicked off. Can I ask you a quick question, officer? Is it, did it kick off and stuff? It didn't? So all this footage about the police horses bashing the people's dock. I haven't seen it. Yeah? I haven't seen it. Cheers. Right wing media stirring it again. He said he hasn't seen anything. Then again, they would say that. Why would they say that? Because they wouldn't have van loads of officers, many of whom are having a rest, having a nap, lined up, ready in case reinforcements are needed. We know how the police presence normally is in this area. It's like the tourist presence at the phone box. Uh, substantial and subtle. But uh, to have them you know, visibly lined up, that's to send a message. The message is, if you want to get into a ruck, uh, we've got enough bodies to deal with it and start arresting you. So we saw Garfield. There's uh, Monsieur Ben. Sorry, chap. Let's head, uh, head down onto Whitehall, see what's going on. Maybe nothing, but hey, uh, as I'm in the area, it doesn't hurt to have a quick look, does it? And we're supposed to see something, or supposed to be rather, sorry, something relatively normal here. But as usual, when it involves uh, the cenotaph and emotions are running high for different reasons, you know, it's not about this uh, this cause or that. It's about the fact that some people mistake uh, patriotism as being an excuse to uh, to engage in civil disobedience. We're trying not to get run over, guys. But it's so busy on the street here that I'm happy to actually walk in the road as I head towards horse guards. Uh, horse guards will be closed. Um, I don't even know if they would have removed the King's Guard at some point. But uh, let's go have a little look. A lot of bodies actually. I can see them already. A lot of police bodies on the street today. There is no way this is just a normal day and nothing's happening. try and get myself kind of in the middle in a minute get us a better look at what's happening on both sides down the street side and the other side let's uh, take a second to cross over well there's a bit of a gap in the traffic I knew something was up when I got off the tube because it was absolutely the tube station Westminster tube station absolutely stuffed with police that's not normal in fact I've never seen that many even close to it that might possibly explain it. Let's see, we've got plenty of bodies around the cenotaph. I guess that's uh, got to be a good sign. Oh, great. 
Yeah. There is in the distance. Pop music playing. What does that mean? It's uh this video might never see the light of day. We'll see. Yeah. I don't recognize the music, but it's uh Oh, lady in red and white talking to the officer. Oh, lovely, they just cut the music. Maybe they heard, oh, nope, it's kind of back. Yeah, the police are making sure that they're visible, highly visible actually. And if they were not expecting potentially some kind of trouble, these guys that we've seen before, that we know well, would not be out filming the proceedings. I have no idea what this music is, but I guarantee it's going to be the thing that ends up cutting off the uh, the video, potentially because of copyright. Really chill for me. Not as if you can even hear me guys as I'm speaking, but... A good example, folks, this, just like so many others, whether it's uh, uh, pro-Israeli rallies, marches, pro-Palestinian 
rallies, marches. Good example of how the mass media sometimes use historical archival footage uh, to paint a certain narrative. Okay? I don't need to paint a narrative, the camera speaks to itself. What do we see here? We do see a lot of police, which means that they're anticipating there might be a small minority that could cause a problem. Hence they're being far more police than usual, out deployed, and uh, many more in reserve. But seems pretty chill to me. People drinking, relaxing. I was trying not to fall over, guys. Sorry, I didn't realize there's like a, like a ledge behind me. I was like, boom. It's like the last night of the proms here. Some people are in a good mood, you know, regardless of what Jefferson side you take in, uh, in the proceedings. It seems that pretty much anyone is able to, uh, to jump up if they feel like it. It's guaranteed.
loves her country, she supports her country. Uh, to be fair, though, most of us, wherever we are, uh, wherever we're from. Someone killed the PA system. No. What happened? You think the police cut it off or? It's spinning a little bit. I don't think it's raining enough to. Uh... Well, I noticed, in fact, there's a, a very, very big, uh, very big presence. And to be honest, every, everything seems pretty short from what I've seen walking around. I came to what the area. At the military one, for the Northern Ireland game, the Northern Ireland game. Yeah. And there was about a dozen police, or thousands of police. There was only about six police that led in. Strange, though. No? I'm not sure why. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is, but, I guess. The barricade did all these things up, as if we were going to desolate our own bloody right, tennis town. Uh, like it's actually very curious that they, they think that anyone here would, would dream of doing anything bad to the cemetery. But That's the mentality. Unless, of course, they're worried that maybe some kind of new counter protest might be heading this way. Let's hope not, but so far, so good. Take it easy. Yeah, I mean, what can we say, guys? You know, it's. Uh, it's an interesting thing that the police need to strike a delicate balance between making sure there are enough officers here in case things go wrong, but at the same time, not being too heavy handed that. They, how do we say, well, not, not provoke, that's the wrong word, but in case people decide, you know what, we don't like this, and decide to act up for their cameras. That's what usually goes wrong at these kind of events. There's always a few, and it doesn't matter what the event is for, what's being protested against or celebrated. Every single time you get a few people that end up spoiling it for the majority, and you can see everyone's chill here. Most of them are middle-aged or older people. So, yeah. There we have it, guys. Now, does that mean that things might go wrong a bit later? Might. These things often have a, a habit of going sideways after dark. But I'm quite good at reading, how to say, not quite the, the, yeah, I mean, I guess the mood of the crowd. And it seems pretty relaxed to me. However, they're drafting a lot of extra officers uh, around the women of World War II Memorial which is curious. I'm not sure why they would think or worry that that in particular could be problematic because as the chap behind me said a few moments ago, uh, nobody would dream of, uh, of desecrating a war memorial. However, we've heard uh, many groups say the same thing uh, and then it all kicks off. So uh, let's see. It's the big boss in the... Uh, and the yellow cap. Mood of the police seems to me to be seems to me to be right. Actually, I don't think they're expecting something to go wrong here. I really don't. Maybe when everyone was arriving and assembling, they perhaps thought that it would, but I don't think it will. Let's have a little walk toward horse guards and see if. Uh, for example, there have been different groups that have been separated or anything else, or whether everybody just sort of flowing along either way. It is, though, to be fair, spitting a little teeny weeny bit. And I think that might have put a bit of a damper on it. I don't know whether the generator ran out or whether the police cut off the power, but you heard it, it just suddenly went dead. Uh, curiously enough. Oh, 
Or is it get caught out demonstration? I mean, to be honest, there are a lot of people on the, all sides of uh, the political and other spectrums that think it's time for a new mayor. Thing is, would that make it any better? Who knows? Might, might not. Right, let's have a look at horse cars, which is probably, I would think, uh, being closed. It is raining now, guys, which is just my flipping luck. However, uh, unless it pours, I will leave this on. Let's have a little walk past. I'm noticing a massive number uh, of other TSG fans. Oh, hold on a second. They've got riot police at the ready. So they are, I wouldn't say expecting, they're anticipating that there might be a problem. Otherwise, there's no way they would have kicked up the horses. Let's have a little look, see if we recognise them. Let's see if, uh, if Bullseye or Zodiac or any of the others. Oh, God, there's actually been a car crash in the middle of the road as well. They've also uh, coned off the front of horse cars. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's directly related or that's something else. Wait, was there a car crash? Hold on a second. There's a trooper outside. What the hell? I hope nobody just tried to knock into horse guards. What is going on today? Uh, actually, guys, I know the trooper. Let me, uh, let me ask him. Sorry, troopers. Someone tried to crash in or something. What the? Uh, I think that's to do with the protest. There's, there's nothing to do with that. Yeah? Do you know why they put this out? Uh, the the broke, so they just fixed it. Oh, because they, they were kind of up and down there, but yes, they weren't there. No, no issues here this afternoon, though. It's all, all kind of uh, peaceful and quiet. Because up there, it's a bit chaotic. Yeah, there's a lot of people out. Thank you. OK, folks. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's have a quick look. Uh, all the city police TSG vans are lined up here, this way. Uh, the reason that the front is closed like this is partly, I think, due to the fact that there was an issue with that car and partly because the bollards. Now, I'm thinking they've done this because the bollards are down, which meant if somebody wanted to try and crash through, they could potentially try and do it without there being a, a physical deterrent, whereas at least this red tape, although it wouldn't stop anybody, it might act as a visual deterrent police horses at the other end as well there are quite a lot of police horses let's have a look at these two beauties guys look at this oh here it is look i don't know what happened here oh hold on there someone's been arrested folks whoopsie just on time <laughs> which i don't know did you see what happened no Oh, the police are stealing, the guys that call the police are stealing his car. Oh, this is the dude in the wheelchair who's going to block the car for a second. What a bizarre afternoon. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Scared me for a second. Who's that right behind me? Yeah. I noticed earlier on Daily Mail said that it was all kicking off and people were getting trampled with police horses. I didn't get any of that. Did it actually really happen? At that end? That end was, was pretty chill. It was right in the middle. Everyone seemed in a pretty good mood, to be honest. Nothing, uh, nothing went wrong. But uh, they just nabbed someone out of this car and marched him off. The police are going, I think, going to drive it off. I'm not sure if he tries to go through the front gates over there. Because they put all this around there. The trooper wouldn't say anything. I think he was being a bit kind of quiet, but something was definitely up. there we have it guys okay, let's pop across uh, I'm not sure the police are going to be in you know should we say a good enough mood to want to talk to me about these magnificent glorious right kick clad horses oh good lord this one that's closest to us folks is absolutely flipping massive <laughs> wow he makes V-Light Vanquish look uh, look moderate in comparison and so well behaved as well look I mean at least we're at horse cars, so it would be a bit 
unfortunate not to be seeing police horses. Am I right or not? Let's see if we can get police horses with horse guards in the back, folks. That would be uh, a bit of a first. Mounted police, riot police. I will ask her, she might not tell me. Officer, can I ask the name of your horse? The name of your horse? Romulus. Wow, what, 18 hands odd or? Freaking massive, bigger than most of the h -tone horses. Wow, beautiful guys. This is a new one for the list that we've never seen before. Magnificent Romulus, look. Even this chat with his Heineken is uh, enamored by Glorious. That's what we'll call him, Glorious Romulus. What a beauty, he is a beauty that horse. I'm not sure, oh, hold on, I was just about to say if there are any more. I see some more. Hold on a second. Was it Bullseye? I can't remember actually the names of, of the, the really good looking ones now. I recognize uh, at least one of the officers that's on the horses and I will definitely ask them uh, the names of these two because they are two beauties again. Look, try not to get knocked over guys while they uh, film them. Look at this, absolutely amazing, beautiful horses. Wow. Yeah, public, tourists, everyone is enamoured by these beauties and you can see why. It's uh, a sight we haven't actually captured on camera. Police horses, I mean, it, it looks optically like they're guarding horse guards, but I mean, they're not, obviously. They're ready, notice they've got the truncheon. The officer's got his truncheon. Just uh, on the front of the saddle. Let me ask him what the name of them. So we've got some just around the corner. But we're from five, we're from London. Looking behind me, making sure. <laughs> Officer, sorry, I just asked your colleague. She said that's Romulus, her massive one over there. Which two have you got here? So this is Quest. Quest. Yeah. Okay. And this is a Bane. A Bane. Yeah. How, how do you spell a Bane? U R B A N E. Ah, like urban with an E on the end. A Bane. Oh wow, oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys, no thank you. you they are beautiful, they're two absolute beauties there. Romulus is bigger, but wow, they are spectacularly beautiful horses. So we've got that pair behind me, this pair in front of me. Uh, it seems they might have got the bollards to uh, get excited and pop themselves up if we zoom across the road. Hopefully, that might mean things return to relative normality soon. We're gonna walk a little bit further towards Trafalgar Square uh, and then kind of cross over and go back round, but look, People are much more interested in, uh, in meeting the beautiful police horses than in you know, causing trouble. So if, uh, if you do see you know, police horses stomp whatever crowd on the news tonight, you know that in, uh, in all probability it never happened. Oh, they're on the move. Let me get myself out of the way. Oh, hold on. I'm going to follow them, guys. They wouldn't be moving in unless... Uh, they've been told to move in. So are they going to stay in the middle of the road or are they are going to go further? I wonder which is going to be. In fact, they're almost, actually no, they're not. Romulus is much bigger than the one that's near to the camera. Okay, let's ignore that for a second. I'm going to walk, as I've said before, towards Trafalgar Square, then cut around and go back because I need to go behind me. That's going to take me home. Whereas if I'm walking straight ahead, that will give me at least a bit of an idea about what might or might not be happening. <laughs> Security at Raffles Daisy with the police. I wonder if, uh, if, oh, they've closed the doors. Actually, look, they've actually closed up Raffles. That's interesting. I wonder why they do that. Okay, let's go and find out, folks. Like I said, the police, TSG vans, they've got a lot of bodies here. Let's hope that uh, they're not going to be needed. Oh, hold the press. Look what I just found. Two more absolutely stunning police horses. Where do they hide these beauties? Oh, where do they get them? Um, where do they hide them when they've got them? Magnificent, guys. Uh, this, this is a you know, fundamentally a horse uh, and God themed channel, it would only be appropriate for me to ask the officers uh, names of their horses. Not all of the officers will share the name of their horses, but 
One second. Let's uh, let's find out if they're happy to tell us. One second. Flipping. Oh, they've got wow. They've got so many. Uh, beauty. This one's a real beauty. Officer, can I ask you the name of your of the two horses? It's Eve. Eve. Yeah, eight years old. Okay. Oh, sat wow. I mean, he does look like a bit of a brute, doesn't he? Absolutely massive and beautiful. Wow. They seem really, even your colleagues there, the horses seem very relaxed today. Yeah? Any trouble so far or chill? Yeah? All right. Good to hear. Great stuff. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. We've got two more beauties, everybody. You heard it there. I don't need to get paid a force already, folks. You heard it from the officers. I just said to him, any trouble today? He said, nope. All good. Like I said, they've got more than enough people here to deal with it, if required, but officer isn't going to lie on camera, is it? You just saw him say to my camera, no issues today. This one is a little bit restless. I swear I know this one. Well, we've seen it before. Look, doesn't want to settle down, but another spectacularly beautiful horse. Really, really, really beautiful. I think maybe is that... I'm trying to think about the one on the far side. Beautiful. I mean, they really are. I'm just trying to see if I... <laughs> I recognise a lot of the police horses, uh, like Zodiac and blah blah blah. Oh, okay. Wondering which right. one do you have? These two are from Lewisham, so they're not always here. Ah, so not great, not great Scotland oh. Yard. I was going to say I don't recognise these two. Heaps, this one, guys. I think. Zeus. Heaps, did you say? Heaps. Heaps. Yeah. And that ah. one's called Zeus. Zeus. He was here for a little while. I was going to say, he looks a lot like some of the other ones that go through horse guards often. The beautiful horse. Stunning horse. Yeah? How, can I ask, how, how do they get into London when you guys have deployed into central London? coming all the way here from Lewisham. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. I've never seen that. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, yeah? Thank you. Cheers. Look at this, absolutely lovely. So we've got so many new police horse names. However, folks, they won't go onto the main list just because of the fact that, as you heard the officers explain, these are horses from Lewisham. For those of you that are watching from around the world, Lewisham is a borough of South London. It's some distance away. Hence me wondering, hold on, did they possibly ride them in or? But it was a little bit, a bit too far to you think of riding the horses from Lewisham, South London, south of the river, into the centre. So they were brought in this morning. Oh. <laughs> they're uh, they're joking. It's all good. Okay, so we're walking uh, along Whitehall toward Trafalgar Square, which is just in front of us. I'm wondering actually if they've got uh, more forces up the Trafalgar Square end. I do want me to find out. As I said, I'll go to Trafalgar Square, zip around, uh, and head back, which is where I will finish. I would have thought, actually, if there were any spot along here, had a good day. Good day? Good day. Exactly that. I was speaking to the police, speaking to people down there. Everybody said super Great chill day. day. Out. Yeah? Day out. Nice one, chat. Enjoy, enjoy. Good to hear it, see? Oh, oh one second guys, let me try not to get knocked over by a bus. Sorry, chap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he was worried about getting knocked over as well. He and I would have been squashed together. But yeah, the doors of raffles being closed, that for me is very telling. Every single time there's anything at all that might be controversial along here, Raffles closes its doors. Now it's got more TSG vans. I'm not sure if we can pick that up. It's starting to assemble around Trafalgar Square. I think the officers are probably thinking that, you know what? If and when uh, people have had a lot to drink, that's when things might get a little bit... What's the word they're looking for? Uh, volatile. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, oh there's the guy again. So it's not one of those auditors. It's... Uh, Asking please pointless questions and hoping to get us some kind of uh, 
response by being provocative. It is what it is, it's unfortunate, but it happens. But this end, to me, looks, what can I say, I mean, it looks relaxed. I'm not seeing any problems. This is why I like to just stroll around, folks, and see what we see. Why? Because the camera cannot lie. In other words, I can just film it, uh, and you can make your own minds up. Okay? If you decide it's this, or you decide it's that, best way is to tell a news story is to document it without actually give you any kind of a political narrative. The uh, weather spoons on my right there are doing a roaring trade today. All of the pubs actually are probably going to be packed out. But, you know, they wouldn't be uh, leaving Whitehall open for pedestrian tourists, remember the public, to be going back and forwards if there was a problem here. Every time in the past when there's been an issue along Whitehall, first thing they do is seal the Trafalgar Square end. Uh, because that's when a lot of the trouble happens as people flood from Soho, the pubs in the West End, towards Trafalgar Square and it starts to slowly kick off. But wow, I mean, if the last thing I see are those beautiful police horses, I'm, I'm happy, folks. Yeah? Very happy. We will work our way down uh, toward where I started, which is the Cenotaph, Downing Street, and Westminster Station. You notice they've got um, officers with many different colour caps. I know the yellow is the most senior. I think, uh, superintendent or chief superintendent. Uh, and then it goes down, red below it. And I think white and then blue is uh, is for constable. I can't remember, but we did have this discussion before, so apologies, guys. Uh, I'm not good at remembering uh, <laughs> hierarchies when it comes to the police. Yeah, I mean, none of the horses spotting the two across the road, the two bays, uh, none of them have moved. Uh, they're in the same position they were in. Uh, Raffles still has police outside, which is interesting. I wonder if something else happened or whether the car that, uh, that was taken away, driven away by the officers, whether that was related to, to Raffles or somewhere. Very curious. But yeah, no guards and no horses, folks. But then again, you wouldn't expect there to be at... Uh, at this time of the day. The good news is that shortly, hopefully, uh, normality will be restored to horse guards and it will be open as usual tomorrow. I mean, I, will, I intend to be here tomorrow, so I certainly hope that things will be back to normal. As a police horse is not moving, it means they're not anticipating or ha they haven't been made aware of any trouble. So I guess that's got to be a good starting point. Interesting, actually, look. the. Uh, Reflections in the windows. Just noticed the uh, <laughs> myself, obviously. But also, those police fans lined up, being reflected in the windows. It's going to be a long shift for a lot of these officers. Most of whom will have been drafted in from outside central London for this, just in case. Backup reinforcements, whatever you want to call it. Uh, at least this time, going back this way on the other side, uh, we all walked past Downing Street. I didn't actually bother to take a good look before to see if uh, if it's been what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, to say fortified, that's the wrong word. Rein reinforced, should we say, by uh, additional officers. Let's so find out in a minute. Oh, somebody's having a rest with his flag. So he's had a good day. One thing that was interesting, actually, to me, is that I'm not seeing very many actual journalists. I don't think I saw a single uh, photojournalist. But it's the same faces that, are, that work at the Whitehall beat. I didn't see any of them. So it'll be interesting to see if and how they manage to get footage and how they're going to spin the footage if they're not actually here on the ground. Yeah, we got a crush on the wine, 
Down the street, folks. Oh, they put an additional layer of barriers actually. Normally, there is one layer, now they've got two layers, but it's not heavily manned or staffed as you can see. Look, maybe it was earlier, but it certainly isn't anymore. A little more than usual, to be honest. I actually think uh, they're winding it down seems to me. I think the officers uh, officers already beginning to disperse. So either they've been moved somewhere else, hence they're disappearing from this central area, uh, or alternatively uh, they're actually being stood down. Incredibly lucky guys that uh, I was staying at my club last night. Um, Left, I thought I'd go for a stroll and boom. I think you forgot actually that was St George's Day today. Uh, somebody had mentioned it in the comments on the other video because the other day when people were referring to St George's Day, uh, a lot of people were like, hold on a second, it's not St George's Day. No, but that was the closest weekend day to St George's Day. This is why so many of these events are held at the weekend, the weekend closest. Uh, not to mention a lot of the people that would be or did participate uh, in the weekend St George's March or whatever you want to call it I'm not sure exactly if it's called a march or a celebration uh, would have normal Monday to Friday jobs so that's part of the reason why a lot of the uh, marches, protests, celebrations or whatever you want to call them are held at the weekend oh, security guard is uh, checking the Royal Mail uh, meanwhile important big wig in a foreign office car behind me anyway it all looks good I mean so good that the toys have even vanished wherever they all want the phone boxes about tourists are like fish without chips asparagus without bearnaise sauce oysters without lemon or caviar without blinis However, I guarantee, once we get to the top here, uh, before I finish my little mini vlog, I absolutely guarantee 100% that we will see people... Oh, hold on, we don't even need to turn the corner. Here we are, look. People wedged in the phone box. Very important call. Hello, who is it? Who's on the line? I think it's the... Uh, the Moldovan Prime Minister calling. <laughs> Not quite as good picture as when there's no sunshine, uh, but a picture with the red phone box is better than no picture with the red phone box, I guess, in terms of you know memento souvenirs of a trip to London. Yeah, I think they're being stood down, look, they're uh, dispersing before our eyes. In other words, jobs are good. It would, uh, it would appear. Looks like I got here pretty much at the ideal time. The anticipation, clearly, because of the number of bodies, that mm, maybe something's going to go wrong. But in the event, it actually didn't go wrong. There's got to be a positive. There's got to be a win, surely, folks. For everyone, officers, public, uh, and the people that were attending the St George's Day celebration. Parliament Square, actually, over there, is very, 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 very busy and full of officers. That's uh, where, I can't really see it super clearly, guys, but that's Westminster Abbey, just beyond the trees. Uh, past Westminster with the Union flag flying in the distance. But yep, they're definitely de-kidding uh, and getting ready to return to barracks, as it were. I'm also about to return to barracks, I home. Got it uh, that light. Oh. Bruce being a bit firm with her. Officer's like, guys, you can stand down now, jobs are good. Let's go and get some Hagen dazs and then we're gonna head home, put our feet up. So the 
to find a way to squeeze myself through, folks. I'm going to walk over there, go across, and when I get to the station, that'll be our, uh, our climax. This is the first non horsey, horse guards -y exclusive video I think I've. Uh, filmed recently and I'm happy about that. I mean the channel is called London City Walks after all so a little bit of a walk now and again. Oh, thank you Mr Audi man for letting me across. Oh Westminster, the bells, the abbey folks look. Bing. The uh, famous Churchill statue looking directly over the Palace of Westminster and, of course, Elizabeth Tower and Big Ben. I'll know 100% once I get to the tube station whether or not uh, they've been stood down because there was a very heavy presence earlier on. So it's very, very, very curious. what bro's doing here <laughs> as he's praying in the middle of uh, middle of the street that takes us to Westminster Bridge and cup and ball scammers galore folks uh, which we'll save for another day so to the middle trying to stay alive whilst I'm here Even out the sunshine, this city has a certain something, doesn't it? Not quite the prison je ne sais quoi, but yeah, London is special. Uh, and maybe even at some point this afternoon, uh, we're going to cross over the road to the other side. I'm going to go into the, uh, the subway, underpass, whatever you call it. And that, ladies and gents, uh, is where we will reach our end. I think, to be honest, the officers are actually happy that uh, members of the public are engaged in asking the questions and so on. The worst thing would be to stand in a position whereby you've got no social content at all and then it ends up being a super, super, super long shift. Tell him how to think about a picture, I think. <laughs> One second. Oh. Sorry, guys, I'm uh, losing myself briefly. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I thought I was, I was going to say, why, why is the police guarding Tesco? It's not security. Before you wonder, folks, no, uh, I'm not going to be uh, the very common walking on the underground. But there you have it. Uh, and luckily for me, hitting the underground, still police here, not as many as before, hitting the. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to the guys upstairs, there's no, no problems today, apparently, out, outside. You know, it's the Daily Mail trying to spin it, there was some kind of riot. I didn't, I didn't see it. Oh, you've been downstairs the whole time, yeah? Ah, okay. Take it easy, chaps. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, again, being diplomatic, but what can we say, people? Okay, folks, uh, we're at our end. Uh, the rush hour here in London is just about to begin. All of these lovely people are rushing through the barriers because they're going home. Look at this. In 30 minutes to an hour from now, it will be absolutely rampacked. Bear in mind, it's five, no, sorry, it's eight minutes to five. Six, uh, 1652. Yeah, an hour from now, this will be chaos. Guys, I'm out of here. Back tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye for now, everyone.